Yeah, I want to get, uh, thanks again for your talk also. I want to get back to one aspect which you stressed in the beginning. You had a sort of a critique of transparency, saying that it's not a remedy um, to trust. And I've, I'm really, something I'm struggling with is really the role of transparency or the paradox of transparency. Because on the one hand, you need it in order to assess trustworthiness. Right? On the other hand, it may lead to more distrust. So I'm, I'm wondering, Right? I mean, what to do about yeah. transparency, trust, and trustworthiness, and mm. which way to proceed? Well, it, it is a very serious problem, and uh, what are the in more intelligent ways of securing accountability? I think we can all tell our favorite black museum stories about uh, uh, examples of where the very remedy introduced into regulation then fueled uh, mistrust. Uh, uh, and I'm, I'm sure that's happened, partly because uh, the expert then seems to the member of the public to be somebody distant, alien and hostile because the expert is attending to his regulator. Why wouldn't he? Um, because uh, he won't be able to practice without meeting all those demands. And that was the point about the, the, the midwife who, comp uh, who complained to me that it took longer to... Uh, do the paperwork than to deliver the baby, yeah. that she had been subjected to such excessive regulatory demands. And I think that one can see this in another way. Um, uh, one of the things that people say is, oh, we need, uh, let me give you some of the phrases, greater financial literacy, greater emotional literacy, please also greater digital literacy. We've got a debate on that in the House of Lords this coming week. I think that's a sort of blame the victim at attitude. It's saying, you lot should be more literate and have more time to read all the scads of stuff that we produce um, uh, by way of showing that we've kept the rules. I don't think that's a reasonable thing to do to, me uh, to the public. And so what to do I think we have to think of some fairly steep things. I think um, that's to say uh, very clear, simple tests, if one can devise them, but also the incentives matter. And uh, I remember that a colleague of mine said, who, who, uh, Naren Patel, who was formerly uh, head of uh, 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 the maternity unit in Nine Wells in Dundee. And he said, I saw every woman who'd had a very hard labor before she went home. Now, I always lived within five minutes of the hospital. Now, it's a very old fashioned attitude, but I think that that sort of thing does uh, lead people who can't understand the technicalities of why their labor was so painful or when, why everything went wrong. But uh, when you can tell the other person is taking trouble for you, that's the professional you trust. <laughs>